Welcome back to the channel, fellas. I hope everyone is doing well. Today's video is something that I've never done before. This is kind of a little bit different, but I think it'll help out a lot of you guys. I get asked so much about third party in and how I play and how I push fights. And just like what's going on in my mind as I'm playing, and it's really hard to talk it out in the moment. So I have this gameplay, and it's perfect for talking about third party in and just engagements in general because there's no comms. So I'm going to talk over this entire gameplay. It was a really, really good game. I played really aggressive. As you can see, there's only... There's 31 people left and I have one kill. We, we count for three of them. Uh, there we go, another, there's even less now. And I ended up getting 20 kills. So I killed almost everybody in the lobby from this point on, which is pretty crazy. Um, we're gonna talk about like third party in and uh, just how I played out in different engagements. Starting right here with this freebie. <laughs> Perfect, right? And uh, yeah, so let's just begin. I know there's two teams fighting. I saw the Bloodhound uh, ability right there, so I'm like, alright, I'm gonna get on this team first. So, I hopped up, up here, obviously, you can see, I just absolutely dusted this team, and then, lickety split, I'm gonna loot up, grab some grab some fresh armor, and we're on to the next team. Now, this is really important. This is something that you guys need to pay attention to. So, I down this first guy, and I know it's a knock. You need to pay attention to your surroundings at all times. So, I don't know where his two teammates are, but I see the Wraith over there, and then I don't know where the third is. You're, you're going to see the third here in a second. But you have to take a mental note of where everybody is. At that moment, I saw the third. So I know that team consists of a Pathfinder, a Lifeline, and a Wraith. I go down here to Thirst the Pathfinder because I knew he had a long bow and I wanted it. Now, this is also something that you need to pay attention to while you're playing. Very important. The kill feed. You need to watch the kill feed. So at this point... I'm staring at the kill feed. I see that my teammate gets a knock. I know there's only one more left on this team. I don't know who it is, but I know there's only one more left. Unfortunately for this uh, lifeline, she ran right past me and yeah. Unlucky, dude. Unlucky. Very unfortunate timing on her part. So after looting that lifeline, I took a purple and I started hitting the balloon and I left. The second that I left, my teammates got pulled up on. Of course, it always seems to work out that way. And this is a great example of a 1v3 situation that it, we solved the problem. It was actually pretty good. So both my teammates ended up going down and I got this raid. Very unlucky timing on her part. She was not expecting me to be there and that was that. Now, one thing you really need to get the hang of is thirsting your kills. I know people are probably going to throw a hazy bit about me saying that, but it's true. When you're in a 1v3 situation, you have to throw, or you sorry, you have to uh, thirst your kills as frequently as possible. If it's safe to do so, you have to do it. Because if I didn't thirst that wraith right there, they could have got that res. And rather than being a, a one versus two, it could have been a one versus three. Now these guys actually make a really, really, really bad decision here. Really bad decision. Instead of both of them coming and pushing me right then and there, knowing there was only one left, they should have known I was by myself, right? Instead of trying to come and fight me. They took the banner and went for the res. Again, awful decision. You should never do this. I know from like a team aspect, you could almost be like, oh, but you want to res your teammate, right? You want to res your teammate after you've won the fight. Because them doing this literally cost them. They could have 2v1 me and killed me. It didn't happen. So I'm just going to let this one play out here for a second. I'm not going to talk. There's not much to really talk about. As you can see, the fresh res and then the, the one guy on the, on the zip line got it. So Yeah. Not really much to say about this fight for for a second here, but something pretty big coming up here is uh, another good thing to get used to. So I got chunked here. Now this is super important with Pathfinder specifically. You can do this hook thing where you jump at the peak of your hook, giving you momentum, and I use that momentum to get a battery off while I got to cover. You can do there's certain certain little quirks that you can do with different characters. That was just one specifically for Pathfinder. But you wanna you wanna know the character that you're playing because I use that momentum to get a battery off. That won me that fight. Plain and simple. If I didn't get that battery off, I lose. Because I use the momentum to get behind cover and get a battery, we're good. Now, this is another talk thing about, about Thirsting. Do you remember the knock that I got on the fresh res? Yeah, she's still alive. They got the res again. <laughs> and we got a maniac teammate using a select fire havoc. Who does that? You'll, if you if you unironically use the select fire havoc, I'm genuinely curious. Comment down below right now. Comment down below. I'm curious. Uh, so I knew the raid, I knew the raid was still alive. So we ended up just waiting for a few seconds, and she did try to come back, and yeah, that was it. Now after this, this is where the third party and stuff really comes in. This is where things really heat up. This is crazy. There's three teams here. There's three separate teams here at River City Center, or River Center, whatever it's called. And I got really lucky on this first team. So unlock. I guess I should say this. They're, they're, these guys are obviously new players. They're not very good yet. They're still learning. 
I came up behind him and literal freebies, as you can see. Now, I know there's still two teams fighting over there. There's still two teams on that house. There's the Octane on the roof, and the second I got those two hits, I was like, okay, we gotta go. This is important. You gotta fight for uh, any sort of advantage you have. So, because I chunked him so much, I knew it was my time to go. Now, after that, uh, that Octane went down, I, I could hear them fighting down below. And naturally, you know, we're getting in the shits. Full set, right? Naturally, boys. So, uh, I, they could all be weak down there. We don't know. They were fighting. So, as you can, I, that guy had a Havoc. So, I was a little bit nervous, actually. I probably should have actually committed to killing this lifeline right here. Wasn't a very good decision on my part, but I was nervous of the, the Havoc. <laughs> they scare me. So, again, try to thirst as many, as many as you can. And then, I, I got up here to try to heal. And another team pulls up another team now this is important to know in my head i'm remembering that this lifeline is still behind us so i'm trying to play in a way that the lifeline isn't going to be able to come up behind me and i can actually try to fight these guys at the same time it's kind of an awkward fight but i tried to get it in, as much damage into these guys as possible and it almost worked out these guys ended up getting away which is kind of unfortunate because one of my teammates actually goes down right now because of that lifeline that was still in that room. So we ended up going back and uh, handling this lifeline. Now listen, I I'm trusting you, the viewer, right now. You gotta close your eyes here for 10 seconds. You gotta close your eyes. I have the worst aim that I've ever had in any video game. You gotta close your eyes right now. I'm trusting you, I'm leaving it in. I'm trusting you, okay? Trust us. All right, you can open your eyes again. It's over. All right, now you can watch me kill this lifeline. <laughs> open your eyes. We're good. Uh, so yeah. Luckily, the team that was at the cave, they, they left. They weren't waiting for us, which is perfect. We didn't want that. So I'm going to fast forward to as we get out of the storm. I took a different approach. I took my zipline way over here to the bones. Way over here by Skull Town. My teammates actually come out way closer to market. And I knew that team was probably going to be waiting at market. That's why I came way over here. It's kind of the... The bad thing about playing with, with and without your headset, like I probably could have had my mic in and communicated with them to not do that, but it also worked out to my favor because I was able to catch them off guard as you're going to see now. Um, now I did something here that should be common sense and I'm just going to bring it up because I messed up here. I tried to catch him off guard. I thought he would be healing or something at this point, but when you come off of a balloon, you have to do the full animation to take your gun out, which is like a full second, a second and a half long. So. The second that I hit the ground, you're gonna notice that I don't have my gun out, right? And I'm like, oh, this is bad. So I try to get out as fast as I can because that guy could have got a couple hits on me and it would have been bad. That guy got lasered. Not much to say there. I'm just gonna keep it real. Now this last guy, this is this is really good. I can hear him on the roof. I don't know if you're listening with a headset or something like that, but you can hear him walking on the roof too. And then, yeah, this guy just, he bit the bullet. It was over. Now, I remember the first guy that I know, right? And I assume that the third player of this team would have went for the res. So assuming that he does go for the res, I jumped down here to where I originally knocked her, down where somewhere somewhere on this aisle over here. And then I hear my teammates fighting above and I'm like, oh no, I hope the boys can handle it. And they pull through. The select fire havoc and the team made with the 301 handled it. The real OGs, the boys. Now, Right here, I know that this is possibly could be a 20 kill game, and I'm really looking forward to it. I'm like, this is awesome. Like, I just had a lot of kills in a short amount of time. Like, I had my first kill at, like, 30, 31 kills, I think I said. Something like that. So, like, this is this would be a really great gameplay, right? So, I see them fighting, and I can hear the gunshots, so I'm like, all right, we're going. We're going. And this is kind of where things get a little bit crazy. This is kind of sweet. Now, I see this caustic trap under the stairs here. And it gets me a little bit concerned about where this third team is. Because two teams are fighting. I don't know if there's a third team over there. And I'm kind of under the expectations that there's a caustic in this building that I'm looking at. This is why I play so cautiously right now. I'm like, is there a caustic in this building or something? I was like a little bit concerned. But then I was like, nah, we gotta go. So, the goal here is to get to this fight before it's over. That would be the ideal situation. Because they're both fighting each other. I see there's knocks everywhere. That people are getting thirsted there's also a big one to, to to keep in your mind you see how there's a thirsted kill right there that's a full kill but there's still the same amount of squads left that means one of these squads only has two people in it 
Now, as I get up here, I'm like, oh, they're fighting inside. So I'm gonna go up top and just look down, and there's a there's a team up here. Now I need you guys to listen to us. See how he doesn't have a turbocharger? See how he's gonna charge it up? Now he's gonna let off because I'm not looking at him. When somebody's shooting at you with a Havoc that doesn't have a turbocharger and they gotta charge it up, play a corner. That's super important to do. Now I know his last team's underneath. Now this is where things get a little bit wonky. So I'm like, okay, the Cossack's underneath there. And I have a long bow and I'm like, I could just stand in the doorway and try to snipe them through the door. And if I could get a knock, then I could just go in there. So this is pretty cool. This I like this play a lot. So I got the one. Now, the gas is going off and I don't want to walk through it. So instead of walking through it, we grapple full speed. And there it is, boys, the 20. So it ended up being a really good game. The The last team, you're going to see here shortly, but I... Uh, I think one of the main points to take away is that you always have to be aware of your surroundings, about everything around you, and you got to try to be a step ahead of every single situation, and that's only going to come with practice. You also got to be very confident in what you're doing. You got to be confident in your shot, you got to be confident in your play. You can't like backtrack and like second guess what you're doing because if you commit like if I committed with that grapple and and I kind of like second guessed it after I hit the gas or something, it would have went really really wrong. So be confident in what you're doing. If you're gonna send, send, boys, send. What's the worst that's gonna happen, right? You're gonna you're gonna die, and you're gonna get into the next game learning something new, right? So, I hope this little gameplay taught you guys something. It's a it's a little bit weird. I don't know. I've never done something like this before, but I I would love to know what you guys think. If you liked it, uh, please like the video. That's the best way that I can scale whether you guys liked it or not. Or you can comment down below and just let me know what you guys saw. Either one. Uh, virtual celebratory teabag with the boys. This is how you bond online. If somebody teabags, somebody teabags with you, you teabag back you, together as one. That's how you bond, raise team morale. <laughs> Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed. I thought the gameplay was really awesome, and I didn't have any comms, so I figured this would be the best way to upload it. Let me know, really, if you want to see something like this again, because I'd be happy to do it again. Uh, with that said, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you on the next video.